Let's go ahead and bring in new suit reporter Leandra Head, who's with us live in studio tonight. Leandra, you went to the clinic today and they were giving out vaccines at a time when vaccination efforts are crucial, especially as case numbers continue to go up. That's exactly right. The need to vaccinate is more vital than ever with the rise in COVID cases due to the Omicron variant. One church, local church that is, and a sorority are partnering together to get the shots in more arms. Many starting the new year off by getting vaccinated at the Basilica of St. Mary in Norfolk. That was the case for Gabriel Laney, a student at Crestwood Middle School. I'm here to get my booster shot. He's more concerned than ever about COVID with the spike in cases. I'm only fully vaccinated, so just trying to um, make sure COVID doesn't um, affect me too much. The Omicron variant has accounted for the recent spike in cases. I know they are kind of spiking up a little bit more. For Allison Clark, a student at Western Branch High School, she says her booster shot is her way of staying safe. Chesapeake Public Schools, they had mass optional, and then now I think they require it. So I just got my booster so that I can protect other people, people who can't be protected. Organizers say they saw more interest today because of that spike. COVID is here. It's not going to go away. We have to adapt. Even after almost two years, going into 2022, we still have a, a, a lot of ground to cover um, uh, with the recent uptick in Omicron cases. The clinic had a large demand for vaccines. Sorry to say, but we've even run out of vaccinations. Now, some people who were not able to get vaccinated today walked away with an at-home test kit for COVID, which has been hard to find lately. And when it comes to other vaccine clinics in Norfolk, take a look at your screen. Military Circle will be closed for vaccinations tomorrow, but will open for testing tomorrow from 2 to 6 p.m. You can find out more information about the VDH's close-ins for tomorrow on our website on WTKR.com. Live in the studio, Leandra Head, News 3.